So this time, we will be uh, solving word problems on decimals. Okay. So this will be uh, two to three step word problems on decimals. Uh, I particularly have this kind of word problem. Let's try to solve it together. Jamie bought a notebook and four pencils. The notebook costs five pesos and 25 centavos more than the four pencils. He gave the cashier 100 pesos and received a change of 42 pesos and 75 centavos. How much did each pencil cost? Now, there are a lot of information in this word problem, so we have to break it down into um, smaller bits of information so that it's easier for us to understand. We have to ask first, what items did Jamie bought? So we know that Jamie bought uh, five items, right? So those five items are one notebook and four pencils. Okay? Aside from that, we also know that the notebook is 525, sorry for that, 525 more than the four pencils. Okay, so let us try to visualize that first in a model. Now we know that there were four pencils. Okay, that's the four pencils. I will be writing P here for pencils. And then the notebook. For the notebook, we know that there are uh, it's more than the pencil. But it's not just one pencil. It's more than the four pencils altogether. So we have to find a bar which is longer, okay, not that, longer than the four pencils. So let's pick this one. Yeah, there, that's longer. So for, uh, it, uh, it will show here that it has more, okay, more than the four pencils. And let's label that as... 5 pesos and 25 centavos. Okay. And he gave the cashier 100 pesos and received the change of 42, 75, 42 pesos and 75 centavos. And the, the question is, how much is each pencil? So, we are not looking for the total number of pencils or the total amount of pencils. We are only looking for one pencil there we have to know first how much jamie paid for all these items the four pencils and one notebook and we would know that by looking for this okay it says that he gave the cashier 100 and received the change of 42 pesos and 75 centavos so therefore the cost or the amount of these items is the difference of the money he paid and the change he received so let's solve for that first that would now be 100 pesos minus 42 pesos and 75 centavos remember in addition and subtraction of decimals which i um thought in the earlier videos uh make sure that you are aligning the place values so the ones should be aligned with the ones the tens with the tens the tenth with a tenth and um a hundredth with a hundredth now we can subtract this now now five hundredth minus uh sorry zero minus five hundredth you can't just bring this down okay because you have uh, nowhere to subtract 500 from therefore to make it easier we can just append zeros okay because again 100 holes is equal to 1000 hundreds okay? so we will now be subtracting Remember, we don't have uh, 
a digit here in the hundreds place value and we also don't have something in the tenth nor in the ones or in the uh, tenth so we will just be regrouping all from the hundreds place or from the hundreds place so the 100 will be regrouped here it will become 10 tens but again i need something here in my uh in my one so that will now be equal to nine tens and this will be ten ones but again i need something in the tens place so i have to get something from the ones so this one will become nine and my tens tenths rather will become ten because one whole is ten tenths now i need something again in my hundreds place so i have to get one tenth and make it ten hundredths so i will have nine tenth left right there so i can now proceed to subtraction that would now be uh, 10 minus 5 is 5 9 tenths minus 7 tenths is 2 tenths then 9 ones minus 2 is 7 and 9 uh, tenths minus 4 is 5 and lastly there's nothing on the uh, hundreds place anymore so our answer would be 57 pesos and 25 centavos that is the total amount of these five items 57 pesos and 25 centavos now that we have this model completely labeled let us now find what we are looking for all right so 57 pesos and 25 centavos is the total for all the five items that jamie bought we have to know first how much is one pencil or yeah how much is one pencil and how am I going to do that? Well, you can see here that there is an excess right there. And if I remove that excess, I think I can have uh, two equal units already. Okay. Now, let's see if uh, that would work. Let's subtract. Subtracting again, 57 pesos and 25 centavos minus 5 pesos and 25 centavos okay straightforward subtraction would give you 52 pesos so 52 pesos 52 pesos is how many units if you're uh, thinking right now that there are only five units one two three four five then you have to think again because when we say units it means to say that they are equal in length okay so in this case this one right here is not the same as those on the top so let's try to make it equal units then okay so the notebook part here could actually be turned into the same unit as the pencil right there so there are eight units okay and you see that those eight units that's one two three four five six seven eight and those eight units is represented by 52 pesos okay so that would now be eight units is 52 pesos now i want to know one unit only if i find that one unit then i will be able to answer the problem already because one unit is one pencil and we're only looking for one pencil so how do i get one unit i will be dividing 52 pesos into eight so let's divide using long division 52 i hope i have enough space 52 divided by 8 what's 52 divided by 8 52 divided by 8 is 6 that's 48 let's try to um subtract 52 minus 48 is 4 
Now, can I still divide 4 into 8 groups? I guess I can by turning this 4 holes into 40 tenths. Okay? Remember, this 40 is not 40 holes. It's 40 tenths. So, our answer in the quotient should be in the tenths place also. 40 tenths divided by 8 is 5. Not 5 holes, 5 tenths. Tenths. So it should be right there. Now 5 tenths times 8 is 40 tenths. Now I don't have left over anymore. So the answer here is 6 and 5 tenths. But remember, since we are dealing with money right here, the answer should be 6 pesos and 50 centavos. So each, this is the final answer. Each pencil costs 6 pesos and 50 centavos. Now, if you want to be sure of your answer and you want to check, you may also do that by, um, think, uh, by thinking if your answer is reasonable and it satisfies all the conditions given above. Let's see. If one pes uh, if one pencil is six fifty, okay, six fifty for one pencil, I need four pencils. This is uh, for checking. So four pencils would be six fifty times four, and that would give you twenty six, I guess. So twenty six. Now, the notebook then would be more than the pencil. So, 26 plus 5 pesos and 25 centavos, which will give you 30, 31 pesos and 25 centavos. The total would be 26 pesos plus 31.25 that would give you 57.25 and lastly we have to make sure that the total money is still 100 pesos so the money at first would be 57 pesos and 25 centavos that's how much uh, he bought plus 42 pesos and 75 centavos and if this gives you 100 pesos then our answer is correct. We practically work backwards here so that we can check if our answer is correct. And yes, the total is still 100 and that is how much money he gave the cashier. So our answer